What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Before we jump into this one, if you did not watch the JDC episode that was released this morning, I really hope you will go and do so. It was a very, very fun one. The theme for the next one is goblins versus elves. So if you'd like to build a deck for that, uh, you certainly can do so and you can share it in our Discord channel. So please do check that out. But today we're trying out uh, a bit of an enchantments theme deck. So this is kind of one of my own creation. It's very much based on previous decks, so not a whole lot of uh, of new stuff other than Joel Rael. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. But uh, the idea with this was uh, I, I really wanted to make a standard viable deck that got to capitalize on this a little bit more so uh, in a more, I, I guess, regular capacity. And so uh, the idea that I had was to go with an enchantments theme. And so we've got things uh, that draw us cards and then hopefully can spit out 2-2 uh, green cat creature tokens every single turn. And then once we get to enough lands, we can actually just turn everything into some crazy, you know, high uh, base statted card and then swing in for the win. Uh, we don't always need to get to that. I've tested this deck a good bit. It generally works, but uh, generally we don't always need that big finishing uh, kind of six mana blowout. But uh, it is nice to have. It gives, it gives us a way to go over the top, which is great. Uh, now, when I say enchantment theme deck, what I mean by that is... We have the Satessan Champion, we have the Archon of Sun's Grace here, uh, we've got the Season of Growth with a number of uh, little kind of one man, or uh, I should say just cheap enchantments that not only can target our stuff, but then draw us some cards. And so this is all, this whole deck is just about synergy over everything else. So in our one drop slot, we've got Alciad of Life's Bounty, gives us a little bit of protection uh, for our bigger creatures, but it also triggers any enchantment based things like Sutest and Champion to help us draw some cards, which also triggers uh, the Recluse here. So uh, very, very nice. Uh, Sentinel's Eyes, a cheap repeatable uh, enchant creature, which obviously is helpful with Sutest and Champion. It's helpful with Archon. Uh, and if we've got Season of Growth out, it's helpful to to trigger the Recluse as well. So lots of options there. Satessin Training immediately draws us a card. So what you'll see us do a lot of times is play this down and then Satessin Training onto it uh, to go ahead and get that extra token. Um, now, obviously, if we've got Satessin Champion or Archon, they're probably better targets, uh, but they're all going to start triggering. Uh, the Season of Growth is really an engine card for the deck. Uh, it's one that just helps us draw some cards, but also scries, uh, which is really, really important for us. Kind of already talked about this. The idea here is to hopefully either finish the game or just spit out enough tokens to win the game. Uh, Daxos is really interesting here. I like Daxos a lot. One, it's an enchantment, so it does actually trigger a lot of our stuff, but it also gains us a lot of life in this deck. If you think about it this way, if we've got Daxos out with a couple of our bigger things, like the Recluse and especially Archon as well, we draw a card, we spit out a token, we gain a life uh, by playing an enchantment. If we've got Season of Growth out, we draw, you know, uh, we we draw, we get the token, then we get the, the, the one one or the one life, excuse me. Then if we've got Archon out, we also get another two two flyer. Uh, if we've got this out, we get to draw another card. Like you can see how things can get out of hand very, very quickly. Um, so this just helps us stay in the game. Uh, Starfield Mystic here, uh, an interesting card, and not necessarily one at its best here, but it does kind of cheapen up a couple of our enchantments. Uh, we do have Banishing Light at three, and then Season of Growth, and then the uh, Satessin Training here. Um, this is nice to help cheapen those up, but on top of that, uh, it it kind of gives us an insurance policy, uh, if that makes sense. So if we play this out on top of you know some creature with a bunch of enchantments on it, uh, this just gives us the insurance that if they kill the big creature, we get another big creature in response, unless they're sweeping. Uh, and so this really does help there. Uh, two Banishing Light for a little bit of interaction on permanence. Uh, it's not perfect, but it is really, really nice to have. And again, it's an enchantment, so it triggers a lot of our stuff. Uh, Satessin Champion here, of course, going to help us draw a bunch of cards. Also becomes just a really big beater. Uh, and then Archon, kind of the same thing. It doesn't draw stuff, but it does spit out a bunch of tokens, very similar to the Recluse here. Um, and it just has Flying and Lifelink, uh, so it's going to hopefully gain us some life. Uh, as far as lands go, we did stick with 24. We have one Castle Ardenvale, four Temple Garden, four Temple of Plenty, and two Fable Passage, along with six and seven on the Forest and Plain split. And that's it. It's a pretty straightforward deck, but one that I'm actually really happy with. I love the, uh, the Enchantments theme. Um, and it's just a super, super synergistic deck, which I think is really, really fun. Um, we notice a lot of times, I think, that 
you know, decks uh, very, very often are just filled with really good cards, but don't necessarily have a whole lot of synergies. I think this one is like filled with good cards for sure, but has a lot of those synergies kind of built in. And I think that's very, very good. So do we keep this hand? I actually think we do. It's a little weird uh, with the two Fabled Passages here, but I think we'll try it. Also, I'm going to turn the audio down just a hair here. I feel like it's slightly loud. Um, let's do this. Because we have the Sentinel's Eyes, I'm willing to go ahead and play this out here. Um, and the Sentinel's Eyes is not a card that we really have to hold back a lot of the time. Uh, because it has the escape ability, it's really easy to just kind of play it out there. If it dies, it dies, and then you get it back. Uh, it's super nice. Okay, looks like a mill deck. That's interesting. Um, they did get a Season of Growth, which is kind of a problem. Um, but not the worst thing in the world. That was a really annoying sound, by the way. I think I might turn this down yet a little bit more. Uh, it's loud in my ears. I don't know if it's loud in uh, everybody else's. Let's go ahead and do this here. Uh, and this just allows us to go ahead and get the beats going here. Uh, it also gains us some life. Chances are we're against a mill deck, so that's really not going to matter all that much. But um, just in case, just in case. Uh, yep. Uh, also, the uh, the fact that this gives Vigilance just allows us to like leave stuff up. Uh, so we can attack in with it, but we still get to have the, the backup play of, you know, leaving it on defense. Castle Ardenvale. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and play that out there. Uh, let's play an Alciad first. Um, the reason I'm doing this is, if need be, we could theoretically give this protection. Don't know that we really need to, um, but, you know, it is a thing. Um, my guess is they may have a counter for this Starfield Mystic, um, but we'll see. Uh, they they took a minute to think uh, when we played the Alciad, so I'm kind of wondering if they've got a counter. That may be wrong, I don't know. But And so now, like I said, we kind of have that insurance policy of like, okay, this is clearly the threat, the Alciad of Life's Bounty with the Sentinel's Eyes. Uh, that's the biggest threat, because not only does it have Vigilance and Lifelink, but it is technically one of our biggest creatures. Um, and so if that dies, Starfield Mystic actually just gets a counter. Uh, and so it's kind of a freebie. Uh, it's really, really convenient. And that's very good. Um, we just kind of have to hope we get there, unfortunately. Uh, against this mill deck, that's really the only chance we've got. So let's go ahead. We are going to play Archon here. Um, definitely take the opportunity while they've got no, uh, no lands up here. We'll leave back that. And next turn, I mean, depending on what we draw, we might be in really, really good shape. But it very much is going to depend on what they do. Um, if we can get enough. If we have enough time. Um, these mill decks are pretty brutal sometimes. So I'm a little worried about that. Unfortunately, that is not a card that we needed. Um, so we do attack in with everything here. Except for this, obviously. <laughs> That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Ooh, interesting. Um, I want to give this pro blue. This also gets a counter here. Uh, just so uh, we don't lose out on that. Ooh, that's very good, too. Um, kind of happy they're a mill deck at the moment, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, let's get Sentinel's Eyes going here. This is going to be the hardest thing for them to actually deal with, uh, just because that's flying. So I'm going to put it here. We also get another 2-2 two -two out of it, and then we'll go ahead and scry here. Um, I'll leave it on top, but it really doesn't matter. They're going to mill it. Um, doesn't, doesn't matter tremendously. Um, so now we've got lethal just in the air. Uh, Starfield Mystic and Alciad are also helping on the ground, so, like, feeling okay, but, uh, they could very easily just, you know, be able to mill a ton of cards here, so, do have to be careful. <clears throat> Teferi's Tutelage is very good. 
Yeah. Yep. So we get to mill two more. Is that correct? Yeah, looks like it. And then they get to mill like six with this if they would like to. Let's see if they, yeah, looks like that's it. Um, I mean, we're not going to do anything, so I'm just going to. This is very good, but I, I think we just win. Yeah, I was going to say they didn't have any follow up plays. Um, all right, well. We didn't really get to see the deck do its thing as much as we would have liked, but it did work. Uh, so let's see if we can do that again. And let's see if we can get the engine kind of turning a little bit better. I think that was uh, not the most exciting of, uh, of those games, but that's okay. It's perfectly fine. Guys, I hope you all are having a fantastic week. Um, I'll be honest, it's been a bit of a long one. It's been a bit of a stressful one um, to vent for a few seconds. Uh, hopefully not too too bad but um this is a pretty good hand actually i'm gonna keep this uh we got a nice two into three if we'd like depending on what they're doing uh sentinel's eyes sure uh it's been a bit of a stressful week um to be honest we've uh at, at my my actual work because uh, i do work full time um we've had a lot to do uh which is perfectly fine and i'm i'm happy to have a lot to do it's really really nice to to stay busy especially during these times it's it's very fortunate that I can stay busy, um, and so I'm thankful for that opportunity, but it certainly does uh, stress me out every once in a while, um, and that's fine. It's just been a lot to deal with. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. I don't know if this is 100% correct, um, but we're going to do this. We'll see if they've got like a counter or something. This isn't like a terribly threatening card. They may just have a bounce spell too. Might have been better to do Sentinel's Eyes first. Not 100% sure. They're really thinking about this. Uh, I do think they had have, they've got a counter. So Satessin Champion. I was a little worried about just playing that out. That's part of why I did it this way. Um, opponent really thinking. Hmm. I hope they didn't disconnect. I'm really worried that they disconnected. Please don't have disconnected. Timeout used. One down. Uh, but yeah, so it's just been a bit of a stressful week. But I'm happy to, to be recording and playing some, some fun decks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that JDC episode. I thought that one was really, really fun. A bit closer than the last one. Uh, huge thank you to Alex also for, for jumping on that. That was a bit of a last minute thing. We were... We we're supposed to have one guest. Uh, unfortunately, that guest was then unavailable due to their own reasons. So I'm not going to, you know, they unfortunately just couldn't make it, uh, which is fine. And then um, let's do this. Let's just go for it. Get him for three. Um, and so unfortunately, I had to see if we could get Will as the backup. Um, and then Will ran into the same issue. Unfortunately, he was busy with work. And so he wasn't able to do it. And then... Um, Thankfully, I like 30 minutes before we were supposed to record, I was like, Alex, I need you. And Alex was like, I got you, buddy. No problem. And so coming in clutch, Alex. Really appreciate it, man. Um, truly a good guy. Alex is running our Discord, doing a fantastic job. Um, and just a really nice person. Really fun to, to play Magic with. Um, I think our opponent has timed out here, uh, which really sucks. Uh, but... I'm not going to concede it because I don't want to go back down to, to plat three. Cause I'm really worried about that. <laughs> I tried really hard to get to platinum two yesterday for a little bit. Um, actually with this deck and it was doing pretty well. <laughs> it got us really close. Um, but we will see. I'm guessing that they just are not going to be coming back. Okay. Uh, Let's the test and champion. Just in case. I mean Chances are we are just gonna win due to timeout, but like you play it like you aren't. Um I hope they didn't just intentionally disconnect. I hate when that happens. That's so annoying. I don't think they did. Oh! They are there. 
That's a little weird. Alright. I'm gonna attack in. If they want to three for one block this, that's fine. We're not blocking anyway, so like... I should have also attacked with the 2-2. Two -two. That was a bit of a mistake. It's fine. Everything's fine. Next turn we can Banishing Light and hopefully... Um, oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect target. So this is the beauty of this deck. Uh, we get to pick Safara. We get to draw a card and we get a 2-2. Two -two. Synergy, baby. Synergy. Um, hmm. Sure. I don't think we really have time for it, but we'll pretend. That's the beauty of this deck. It does cool stuff like that. I like it. I like it a lot. That's very good. Very, very good. Um, need to get Archon out. Oh, well, okay. Did we actually win? Six, seven, eight, nine. We hadn't won yet. Granted, I mean, I think we would have, but like... Uh, Alright, well, that was a bit of an odd game. Also, I realize we have a pack to open. Let's open a pack, guys. Let's open a pack. Woo! See what we get. What do we get? What do we get? Wow. Exciting. <laughs> All right. Let's get into game three here, guys. Hopefully, we can get another win with this one. I really am enjoying this deck. Um, I know it's a bit of a, like, standard, like, template for the deck, uh, but it's nice to see uh, Joel Rael. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Joel Rael. Uh, whatever. I'm hoping... I, I really like her. I think this is a really fun... Uh, shell for this um i do think you could potentially like get some black stuff in here and see um like dead weights things like that and just kind of see uh how that does but i don't know if that's 100 percent correct off the bat or not so that's why i kind of went simple with the the green white keep it simple um let's play this and we'll just get a season of growth down here Really good card to get down early, Season of Growth, just because it's such a good engine for the deck. Uh, chances are this is an Abyss combo deck, by the way. Um, I played this deck thanks to Turn 1 Soul Ring, so thank you for the suggestion. Now I know to watch out for it, because <laughs> um, it's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, though, we do have Banishing Light, so we could actually Banishing Light that. Um, I'm guessing they have a kill spell, but we're going to push this out there just to see. Um, if nothing else, the scry is helpful. I'm going to throw that on the bottom. Um, guess it didn't really matter if it was on the top or bottom. It was going to get milled one way. Ooh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. I like that. That's pretty good. Um... Depending on what we draw, okay, we didn't get that. Uh, let's do this first. This is going to get it so we can really do some damage to Teferi here, which is the idea. Uh, it's also going to draw us a couple cards. Alciad of Life's Bounty. Well, that's going to make it so we can finish off Teferi, which is very good. Um, You'll notice I'm being slightly cautious here and not just running out Archon. Um, oh, Sentinel's Eyes is so good. Um, I think that that's correct, but I might be wrong. Let's get Temple. If it's something unexciting, perfect. We'll leave that on top. It's going to get milled. So uh, They do get to activate this, I believe, on their turns. Or on my turn. So like, they this lives, but uh, we do get to take it down a bit. Sorry for the frame rates. Looks like it's dipping every once in a while. Hope it's not too bad for you. Sure. Um, these mill decks, man, they are everywhere. Uh, next turn, we're probably... Ooh, mean. We're just going to Banishing like this and then attack in here, probably. We can Sentinel's Eyes on this. Teferi is just so difficult to kill. Uh, because it gets to activate on both people's turns. Um, ooh. Does that change how I do this? Um, no? I 
don't believe it does. Let's banishing light first. I'm actually gonna hit the tutelage. Um, I know that sounds a bit strange, but to fairies annoying, tutelage is killing us. So like, there's a bit of a necessity thing going on there. Um, let's sentinel's eyes. Ooh. And we'll get this out. Sure. Um, so this should just straight kill to fairy no matter what they do. Perfect. All right. Now they have a cleared board. Uh, we do have to discard a card here. That's fine. We'll just get rid of the planes. Kind of surprising how long these games are taking. Perfectly fine with it, but like. All right. Ooh. Well, that's very, very good. Well done. Um, yeah, dude, you got it. Uh. Hmm. Doesn't matter too much. Um, let's just play a, a second season of growth here. Get some engines down. Um, we'll keep that on top though, because that is a very good card for us. All right, see what they do. Oh my goodness, another Teferi. Yeah, dude, you got it. Teferi is a very annoying card. Um, okay, they didn't have anything though. Uh, let's play Daxos. Maybe should have attacked first. Might have been incorrect. I'm just going to keep that on top because that's just a good card. <laughs> uh, it triggers a lot for our deck, so that's why. We get a ton of scries out of this. Um, okay, so they can go up to 7, is that correct? So we do kind of have to push some stuff out here. We get to draw three cards right now. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> um, and now we're gaining life for every token that comes out and scrying too. That's pretty good actually, yeah. Let's get that in. We're not gonna put that down on the field yet. We're gonna play Sentinel's Eyes here. This gives us enough to make sure. There we go. All right. Well, the synergy is real. Uh, I'm glad we got to see it kind of do its thing, and I think we did the right play by killing the tutelage with the Banishing Light and then killing Teferi. Um, we were going to die to mill at some point, so like we had to we had to get rid of that, I think. So I really like this deck, guys. We are three for three on this one so far. We are, of course, going to do a video too, and then we'll kind of sum up our thoughts. Um, I really like these enchantment-based decks, though. I think the synergies that they provide are like ridiculously good, so... Let's try this out again. We'll hopefully uh, get another three wins. Maybe we can do a perfect score for this one as well. Um, don't forget to check out that JDC episode if you have not already. Really do appreciate the support on that series. It's been really, really fun. Uh, and excited for next week's theme, which is that goblins versus elves. I think it's going to be a really good one. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you very soon for part two of this uh, Jol Jolrael uh, enchantment space deck. I, I think I said that correctly. Bye.